Tommy Stokey of the Action Network filling in for Darren Robel here with Teddy Greenstein of PointsBet filling in for Jay Croucher. And Teddy, I want to start in the NFL. It's COVID week. How in the world does PointsBet even go about opening a line or adjusting a line when you don't even know who's going to play? Well, I think the one that is getting a lot of scrutiny and attention, Tommy, is that Browns Raiders game, right? I mean, that line opened at the Browns giving six, and now it has completely flipped over a touchdown change. And that, of course, is because of the eight Browns players in the COVID protocol. Now, it's not so much about the quarterback, because even if Baker Mayfield cannot go, he's only worth a half a point. So it's more about the Cleveland offensive line, especially tight end, the spot that has been decimated. When you factor in all that other stuff, it's easy to see why, why everyone's jumping on the Raiders. Let's go to Saturday, the Patriots and the Colts. We've got, we've yeah. got TV talking heads saying, do you want Mac Jones? Do you want Carson Wentz? And it's actually, actually a big game in the AFC. So what does the betting market think and, and where are betters putting their money? I'm so excited to see this game from multiple perspectives. Now, we know in terms of the Mac attack that his arm is going to be fresh after it barely was used in the, uh, in the win game against the Bills. Um, we're seeing a classic pros versus Joes setup here, Tommy where the pros are on the Colts and the Joes don't understand this line. Uh, They are on the Patriots and Bill Belichick, the presumptive uh, coach of the year. You know, points bet is saying this home field is worth only about two points and the Colts are favored by two and a half. So we believe that overall the Colts are a better team getting good, consistent play from Carson Wentz. We know about Jonathan Taylor when he actually gets the ball, he's uh, in the end zone frequently And that defense is very opportunistic and creates turnovers. On Sunday, one of the bigger matchups, Aaron Rodgers coming off another beatdown of the Chicago Bears against the Baltimore Ravens. But we have some uncertainty at quarterback with Lamar Jackson. So where did this open up? What has the action told you about what betters are hoping or expecting from Lamar Jackson? And does it matter? Do they still want Aaron Rodgers against whoever? Yeah, so many questions on the Ravens side. Of course, starting with Lamar, who is right now questionable, with the ankle injury, you know, do you want him out there? Do you want a guy who depends on mobility uh, running around against a very good Packers defense? So the betting public is certainly flocking to the Packers here. We're getting, I think, uh, yeah, about 90% of the money on Green Bay. The line is five and a half. And it certainly makes sense because people know what they're getting with the Packers. I mean, you and I saw it as, as two Chicago guys last week, how Green Bay completely dominated the second half against the Bears. Now, the only mode of uncertainty here with Green Bay is the offensive line. Total patchwork group, and the Ravens love to blitz. But I don't know about you, I feel pretty good um, betting on Green Bay knowing Aaron Rodgers is back there. I think he's faced uh, a few exotic blitzes in his day. One or two. Take, uh, take us through the rest of the market and say, wow, I see this, and I cannot believe the action coming in on this game, this team, this bet. Yeah, the surprising one for me, especially as a native New Yorker and an old Jets fan, is to see that my team is being supported. So the Jets are getting 10, 10 and a half against the Dolphins, and somehow 75% of the handle is on the JETS, even though that's a horrid team, just got worked last week by the Saints, and we know that Miami has really been cruising and at home. So that one baffles me. Uh, Maybe the public knows something that the rest of us don't. All right, Teddy, thanks for joining us for Tommy Stokey's check out next week to see if we actually just permanently replace Darren and Jay. <laughs> that away. Make sure you check out all of PointsBet's promotions, including this one for Sunday Night Football. 